Russian leader Vladimir Putin tried again today to pin Friday's terror attack on Ukraine, offering no evidence of its involvement. Nearly 140 people were killed and more than 100 wounded when gunmen stormed a concert hall in Moscow. CBS' Deborah Pata has details on the suspects and the ISIS group claiming responsibility for the attack. Blindfolded, bruised and beaten, the terror suspects were quickly brought to court following a speedy arrest after the Friday night massacre when four gunmen stormed the Kroko City Hall near Moscow, a popular concert venue, and methodically began shooting at the crowd before setting the place ablaze. Social media videos show the assailants moving with deadly intent through the complex as they gun down people, leaving a trail of body bags. Speaking today, Russian President Vladimir Putin once again ignored the glaring failure of his security forces to prevent the attack, despite a U.S. warning a few weeks earlier that ISIS was planning to strike. Instead, he intimated the Islamic militants had been working for Ukraine. Who stands to benefit, Putin said. It can only be those fighting at the hands of the neo-Nazi Kyiv regime. It's a charge Ukraine flatly denies and which the U.S. has categorically repudiated. No one's really surprised. That this Security is expert Jeff Horn says ISIS has been fixated with attacking Russia for years, in part as payback for Putin's military campaigns against the group in Syria and through Wagner mercenaries in Africa. Vladimir Putin claimed to have defeated ISIS as far back as 2017. Why now ISIS attacking? Russia is a soft target. There's plenty of weapons that can be easily acquired. Security is very bad. Intelligence is very bad. And also it brings a lot of attention uh, to the Islamic State. And now, Horn says, ISIS is making a comeback in Central Asia. Deborah Pada, CBS News.